Don't you jump scare me again! Sweetie, sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. Oh, no, f me. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Man, f you. They want to commit their life to you. I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. No, you're not. I'm to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Man, you should stop this, okay? This is not okay. Really, this is not okay, okay? This should be a warning, a trigger warning at the start of this game or whatever, the place where I bought it on Steam. I used $10 on this trap, man. You really, like seriously. You did this to me, that's disgusting. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. What? What if I don't want to? I'm gonna do it. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Oh, I actually pushed that button. And I actually do it because I'm stupid, man. Look at him there, pushing buttons. Stop! Doing exactly what he's told to Stop do. Stop making smell. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now, he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. I didn't choose this. No, no, F. 8, 9, 10, 11. Johnny. Uh, F, U. Oh, no, wait. Okay, I'm going to enter and I'm going to press P. But in his mind, ah, in his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown, fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. And so he began what? to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. To spend time with the boys. What boys? There are no boys here. Yeah? So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At okay. last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Okay. Are you serious with me? As he oh, wandered Jesus. through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Can you stop doing Down this one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. What kids? There are no kids here. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again. And again. Over and over. Wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Oh, you got me with the psychological tricks. That's why I'm playing this pretty game. I censored myself. You should be thankful. Or... But there is no, no answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The stop? longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. I don't have a real life. I l Listen, I don't have a real life. That's why I'm sitting here playing this. What, do you think I have a real life? It's 2018, my brother. I don't know when this game came out, but in 2018, there are really few people who have a real life. Or at least Norwegians. 
Or at least Giannis. Point is that I don't have anything better to do, okay? So, stop acting like if I have something better to do than this. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. What do you here, want me to do? Watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Okay. Okay. I will not do it. Easy game. Easy game. I will not do it. Think you're better than me? Man. Take this finger also showing the wrong finger because you know I gotta censor my stuff and the kids watching this and, and stuff but you know yeah I'm not gonna touch it anything nothing no it's over You can't jump I love the mechanics implemented in this game I've been pressing this part of my keyboard like 800 times now to check if I can jump and I just got the achievement saying you can't jump so just stop you can't do it uh, That's amazing that's actually really good I like the way this game was scripted and stuff but no Is there something else I can do? No, nothing else. I don't have any option. I'm not gonna press it. I'm not gonna press it. There you go, easy game. You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Don't, don't make me, don't jump scare me. I suppose I can't, not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. I didn't... And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried... Don't you jump scare me again!